Okay, so I'm going to get started with this pack of chicken tenders. Basically, it's just a chicken breast that's been sliced. Okay, so chicken's freshly washed and seasoned. I just have it in a bowl. I seasoned it and just kind of tossed around my hand. And I use pepper, garlic, pepper, garlic, lemon pepper, and a little bit of Cajun. That's the red that you see. That's a little bit of um, Cajun. You can season your chicken however you want to. Just lightly season it. Okay, I melted some butter, and to it I'm just going to add some more lemon pepper. This is just Tone's lemon pepper. Get that incorporated. I'm going to add, I'm going to add some minced garlic. I'm going to take a lemon and squeeze some fresh lemon juice in the mix. There's no recipe for this. This is just how you make it. And you can just do it. Add as much lemon pepper as you want. However you want to season it. Then I have also prepared. It's just on this paper plate. It's just some... Um, Parmesan, some fresh Parmesan that I put in the blender to kind of make it um, smaller pieces. And I'm literally going to take each strip of chicken, coat it in the butter. And I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to coat it in the Parmesan and then place it in the fryer. Okay. So I'm just going to get all my chicken in here. Let it start marinating a little bit. Get coated real good. And I have a hot skillet right next to me and it's just a little bit of um, oil at the bottom of the skillet. I'm not deep frying them. I'm just searing them in the skillet. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, you guys. So this is it. I turned it over. And it's, as you can see, the Parmesan kind of crusted over a little bit, making it so delicious. And that little crunch to it. Cooked it for about five minutes on each side. These pieces are really thin, so it doesn't take long. A little bit of olive oil at the bottom and I added some butter as well to get it going. So that's another reason why it's turning brown because it's burning. But it's also yummy and this is a great keto meal. I'm going to serve it with just a green vegetable for my carbs. Obviously the meat is my protein and then the butter is the fat, the butter and the cheese. So perfect keto meal, low carb, high fat. Okay, you guys, all finished. I'm ready to dig in. I started to go with asparagus, but I went with broccoli this time. This is a low calorie meal. I don't know how many calories it is. I've gotten away from counting calories. Emphasis is on low carb, high fat with moderate protein. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.